Why do we play tournaments? What's the purpose of playing tournament? What's the purpose? Anybody? Anybody? Somebody tell me why, why a reason to play a tournament, other than because it is there. That because if we go to look at the tournament schedule, there is one every single weekend within distance. So that's not reason enough. Okay, give me another reason to play a tournament. Deal. Okay, what do we mean by what do you mean practice what you learn? Why go to a tournament and take your parents' entire weekend to practice something that you don't know? I'm not moving on. I'm sitting and waiting for you to come up with an answer. There is an answer. And not, it just doesn't make sense. That the way you said it, it doesn't make sense, but there is a real answer. That does make sense to me. I've done it enough in drills, in situational, competitive situational practices, and in match play, and I want to see how it holds up under the additional strain of tournament competition because that's a little more serious in terms of the mental pressure than a practice match, isn't it? Yeah. So, but what were the conditions that I just placed upon that? I've been working on it. I've tried it in lower levels of competition and found that it was already successful. And I am now trying it at a higher level of competition where there is more pressure. You can just leave that. Or I can empty the balls. Say, so that was two years ago. Let me get those back in. Might two years ago at this point in time. That's Must be, that's almost three years ago now. So, message hasn't changed very much, has it? Didn't even realize that I said that the first time I met So, my message doesn't change. What other reason is there to play a tournament? Mm -hmm. I mean, I just want to know where am I relative to my peer group, whatever that peer group might be. I'm taking a look and seeing. Okay, which might give me a sense of what things do I do that work at this level, what things do I do that I probably don't need to be doing anymore, need to be figuring out how to change. Right. So, an assessment. Where am I? What else? Learn. Another reason? Hmm? To learn how to handle to different pressures or different level of stresses. Like you just said, there's one level of stress when they're working with you, and there's another one when they're at a tournament. So they have to learn how to handle it. But I think you need to be successful with a lower level of stress doing it before you think that you're going to apply that level of stress. Yep. Okay, I'll give you another one. Yes? Okay. Learning how to lose. That losing is, learning how to lose is pretty important. Learning how to win is pretty, and, and you do learn how to do both. Um, and so that's, an important thing to do. Learn how to lose, learn how to win. No, I agree. Okay, what I was thinking of is preparation for another tournament. That I just, I, everybody here knows Scotty. And Scotty didn't play a lot because he was hurt this spring. And not even Daniel Sanders. Most of you know Daniel. Um, that they got into playing, back into playing tournaments, and they weren't having very much success. Daniel, number one seeded, bunch whole bunch of zats, lose first round. 
What he found out was when he finally champed up, he champed up because he played two DPTAs the two weeks before and then went into the ZAT and ran the table. Scotty, same thing, that when he played a couple of tournaments leading into the Super Champ Major Zone, had success based on the fact that he was ready to compete. Now, having said that, how often is there a major zone, a champ major zone or super champ major zone? Or is that? You can do once a month, one a month. So you can't do one, just one every month? No. No, 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 maybe there's no, two. There's like there's only one. But, there's, but there is one every month? Yeah, yeah. at least two. Do I have to play it because it's there? Is it, is it mandatory that I play it because it's on the schedule? Why do you think there is one every month? Anybody tell me why there's one every month? Eric. So the so um, USDA can get more money? Um, that, that, that <laughs> undoubtedly <laughs> can get more money. more money since they're not giving it back to us. Okay. Um, what else? And there's actually a there's actually a, a reason why that there is. Why? So um so like there's like um so like more kids can either champ or super up. No but there's super champ major zones once a month. So why is there one every month? So you can have the option of deciding in your own personal periodization schedule where it is that you want to be peaking. If that's the highest level of tournament that you're playing, it gives you the ability to say, okay, I'm going to start working on my game now, and I'm going to go through my preparation phase, however long that is. I'm going to be able to go through my pre-competition phase, which would include playing practice matches, doing situational competitive drills, and playing lower level tournaments to get up to my competition, which is where I'm counting on getting those necessary points, which is that major zone. And so no matter where I am and deciding where it is I want to peak, and some people actually use major zones as those, the equivalent of DPTAs for national championship tournaments. They're going and getting good sectional competition to be ready for national competition. For some of us, that is the highest level that we're playing. So we play other things, local tournaments, to be ready for sectional events. But so no matter where you are and what you are using that level of competition for, there is one that will fit into your schedule because they want to make it convenient for every kid in their section to have success at whatever level they are at and whatever their progression is that they're trying to go on. It's not there so that everybody can go play one every month, which is the reason that it's only six results that even count for tournament, for ranking purposes, and they're actually trying to change it to only four results count. So the majority of the ones that you play Say, do not count for ranking purposes. If it doesn't count for ranking purposes, why did I play it? Last year, the first or the year, the title counts. The little ones don't count. Well, it's whatever your highest ones are that end up counting. So it's your, it's your four highest ones, your six highest ones, or your eight highest ones. And they keep changing the number because people keep saying it costs too much money to get enough just to compete. One of the things that I have always had that I don't have now is I don't have an entire year-long tournament schedule for people. That when you apply for a player development grant from the USTA, one of the requirements, and they give those out in December, one of the requirements is that you have to submit your tournament schedule, your proposed tournament schedule for the entire following year. 
And that is part of what they use to make that decision as to whether they give you a grant or not. Because they want to know, do you have a clue? Are you playing the right events? They want to know, are you going to play the bigger events? Or are you going to just run around locally and spend the money however you want to spend it? But they also want to know that you have set forth a plan that gives you the opportunity to work on your game and then to try it out in lower level events and then to have it all together at those bigger events. And they're giving you money, so they have a vested interest in seeing you do well. So they want to make sure that that's happening. 